All right, Gov, how you doing? Good Steve Gizibo is the name. Uh -huh. Leading energy consultant with General Energy Efficiency Systems, Europe registered, or Giza for short. Know what I mean? <laughs> I've been conducting a little bit of uh, research down your street with my natty little infrared camera here, and I'm sorry to say that your house has come out the worst. What? Oh, yes. In terms of energy efficiency, it's not happening. Nope, you've got more hot air coming out of this place than a day in Parliament. Know <laughs> what I mean? No worries, though. I'll sort you out, Gov, for a couple of ponies. Well, I'm interested in saving a few pennies. Yeah, well, come inside. Lovely. Well, Thanks. Don't mind for them. Nice place. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a bit cold in here, mate. Well, that's why I'm wearing my hat. I've got to wrap up warm in old houses like this, you know. Not a problem. I'll soon have you sorted out. Mind if I have a look upstairs? Absolutely. Last one. Cheers. Oh, yes. Very nice indeed. Here you've got some nice old bits and pieces, mate. Tell you what, I've got a mate. Take this way a lot for you for a tenner. I've spent years buying this furniture. Same to the age of the house, almost 300 years old, you know. A lot of this old furniture has a very particular purpose. This chair, for example, sit down here. These wings protect you from the draught coming through the window here. And a day like this, you know, chilly, it's a great place to sit by the fire, having a, having a crumpet. I mean, do you want one? Lovely. Well, have sit down, Gav. Nice on, chill. Oh. No, 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 no. Careful, old, old fabric, huh? But, um, it won't take long. Nice hot fire. Anyway, let's get down to business. It's a lovely old place, but you're doing a very good job of hitting the street, if you know what I mean. You see, heat transfers from a hot area to a cold area thanks to three processes. Convection, conduction, and radiation. I can demonstrate conduction very well with this little poker here. If I pop it in the fire there, heat transfers from one end to the other thanks to conduction. With infrared time-lapse, we can see thermal energy being transferred from tip to handle by conduction. Now then, if you want your place to remain nice and toasty all the time, you've got to find a way of stopping the heat from in here transferring to out there. Let me have a look. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Good news. The good news is that glass is not a very good conductor of heat. The bad news is you've got a lot of it and with all that surface area, it's not long before it's all gone outside. These four rods are made of copper, steel, glass and wood. This infrared image shows what happens when the rods are heated from the bottom. The progression of the red and white colours shows how quickly energy is transferred by conduction. Even though glass is a poor conductor of heat compared to steel and copper, a lot of heat can be lost through windows because they have a large surface area. But that's the least of your troubles. You've also got to worry about convection. The best way to demonstrate that is to light this little Victorian brass angel thingy. If I light these candles, they'll start to create convection currents. As the hot air rises, the fan blades at the top start to turn, and with them, the angels about their merry dance. This infrared sequence shows hot air rising over a radiator. And it's exactly the same in your house. The hot air is bombing around through convection and it's not long before it finds holes in your windows and cracks and it's outside, you've lost it. The only way to deal with all that heat loss thanks to convection and conduction is with double glazing. That's all very well and good, but I already have double glazing. These shutters trap hot air between the glass and their edge here. And also, the darn sight better looking sort of stuff you want to sell me. The wooden shutters prevent the warm air in the room from coming into contact with the glass, so heat loss through the windows is minimised. The trapped air is a good insulator. That's not double glazing, look! It's wood! It doesn't even fit properly and it's brown! Therefore, you need to double glazing. No, I don't want double glazing. Look, I know what you're saying, but I can't rip out those windows. They're nearly 300 years old. Rip them out! Chuck some PVC in there. Look, there's a third way in which you're losing heat. Radiation. If I use my infrared camera, I can show you. But I point the camera at the fire, it's white. That's because it's hot. But if I put my hand between the fire and the lens, it's black. White, black. It's quite simple. The radiation is moving at the speed of light, therefore it's almost instant. Look, I know all about radiation. 200 years ago, this house was heated by radiation. Look, this cannonball out of the fire 
they would carry this around from room to room. It radiates heat. This fireplace is pretty simple, not much metal there. Downstairs is a fireplace that's full of iron, and that radiates heat. It's more economic than double glazing. The hot cannonball was the 18th century equivalent of the mobile radiator. This is what I wanted to show you. Now look, this fireplace, the grate here, was put in a lot later than the one upstairs, and it's much more effective. The cannonball sits there very happily. Um, it's made of cast iron, so it radiates heat. It's very efficient indeed. All the extra iron in this fireplace is helping to radiate extra energy into the room. It might be efficient, but let's face it, it's not UPVC efficient. Grab that little tester, I'll even do you a good deal. This is an absolute dead loss, isn't it? No. OK, look, look, great. No. No. Hey, how about a heated window box? No, I've got some plastic substitutes. I bought them up for a fiver.